Hey guys, welcome to the Simplify Your Life podcast. It's Coach Simona and I'm glad you decided to tune in. What's up guys? In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to get over a breakup and move on with your life quickly. Let me begin by saying that every breakup is painful. And I know you may not be feeling up to anything right now. But I can assure you, the six steps that I'm going to give you today will help you a lot when you decide that you're ready to move on. The first thing that I advise you to do is to face your feelings. It may be hard to admit to yourself that you're sad, angry or hurting. But the sooner you become honest with yourself, the better. Try to dig deep and find the source of the pain within, instead of filling yourself with junk from the outside world. TV shows, food or sex. Don't get me wrong. There will be a time and place for every one of these. But first, you need to admit to yourself that it's over and embrace all those feelings that you've bottled up inside of you. There are many techniques to get to your true feelings, but today I'll share three of them. The first one is to do a stress relief meditation. If you don't know how to do it, I'll leave a link to a guided meditation that I've made for you. If you're not a fan of meditation or your feelings are too intense, the second technique is to listen to music that will help you get in touch with your feelings. For example, if you feel sad, Search for ballads that will help you dive into that feeling. If you're angry, probably rock or heavy metal would do the trick. The important thing is to let yourself cry, scream or hit a pillow. Anything that will help you confront the pain, anger and frustration that you're probably feeling inside. The third technique that could help you get in touch with your feelings is to write a letter to your ex that you're never going to send. Write down whatever you're feeling. Don't hold anything back. But please, don't you ever think of sending them the letter. This is a therapeutic exercise aimed to help you get over the feelings you have for your ex and not an attempt to get her attention or expect some kind of closure from their side. So please, be aware of your actions and do it for yourself. Okay, now it's time for step number two. Now that you've let your feelings out, it's time to cut off any contact with your ex. I know it sounds extreme, but it's for your own good, especially if you've been in a long-term relationship that lasted more than a year. Remove them from social media and try not to stalk them. Because what this does is to prevent you from moving on. If you don't remove them from your contacts, you'll probably try to get in touch when you feel lonely or after you've had a couple of drinks with your friends. So please watch yourself and don't let yourself go back to the times that are already gone. Of course, take my advice with a grain of salt, especially if you've been friends for many years and want to remain friends. In that case... You don't have to go to extremes. Be flexible, but don't forget, the less contact you have, the sooner you'll get over them. Step number three is to get rid of all the things that remind you of your ex. For example, if you have many pictures of them, put them in a box and hide it somewhere. Or better, get rid of them. Call a friend if you're not feeling up to doing it all on your own. They will gladly help you get rid of everything you've accumulated while you were a part of that relationship. Once you get rid of the clothes, possessions or anything that you associate with them that bothers you, you will feel lighter, better and much stronger. And ready to get to step number four. Step number four is to focus on yourself. Do things that make you feel happy, healthy and fulfilled. Taking care of yourself after a breakup is crucial. Focus on eating healthy, getting enough sleep and exercising. 
If you're not sure where to start, I'll leave a link below to an article that will help you out. When you focus on your own needs, you will feel more energized and in time happier and more fulfilled with your life. Being single can be a wonderful experience because you get to have time to focus on yourself, get to know yourself better and have a better relationship in the future. Now let's get to step number five. Step number five is to pause and reflect. Now that you feel stronger and more confident, now that you can rely on yourself, it's time to look at the previous relationship objectively. Step back and ask yourself, what have I learned from this relationship? Did I do anything to harm it? What do I want to change about my behavior if and when I start a new relationship? If you're ready for that step and want to write your answers down, pause this audio and do it now. Ready? Good. Now it's time to get to the final step. Let go and be grateful. Messy breakups are hard to get over and even harder to forgive sometimes. But you need to remember something important. Forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about you. When you forgive someone, you give yourself permission to move on and let them live their life separately from you. If you're ready to let go of your past relationship, then you've grown as a person. And you're wiser and more mature than you give yourself credit for. So pat yourself on the back. Getting over a breakup and still standing on your feet means you've accomplished something very important. You've moved on. Now it's time to be grateful for the good times and let the bad times stay in the past. Because that's the only way to live in the present. So to sum up, the six steps to get over a breakup are Number one, face your feelings. Number two, cut off any contact with your ex. Number three, get rid of all the things that remind you of your ex. Number four, focus on yourself. Number five, pause and reflect. And number six, let go and be grateful. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for listening. I hope this episode was helpful. If it was, please like it. And if you want to join the family and get my best coaching tips every week, hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. Till next week.